So I'm a little late, but uh, it's mostly because life is pretty hectic at the moment. It's uh, it's not that great, and uh, on top of that, on the 2nd of February, Persona 3 Reload is releasing, and it's uh, the most hyped I've been for a game since uh, 2015. So I've been thinking about that a lot. But uh, yeah, I'm sorry for being pretty late with uh, this upload. <clears throat> Hello! So, today, I'm gonna try to evolve uh, Gigamesh. I uh, believe he might have gotten a quest. Uh, yeah, Alar King of Heroes, so I really wanna do that. And because I think he's probably somewhat good. I mean, already he has a lot of damage with uh, his pre-evolution, so I'm very excited to see how strong he can be with his race attack. Now, what I need is a bunch of damage, which is gonna be easy. Gonna take a bit, but still gonna be pretty easy. Calamity Orb, Demonic Heart, and Ancient Orb. I think I can get those in the same stage as Mystical Crystal. So I'm probably gonna grind that for these three. Red Jewel I get from Pillar Cave, and Grand Token I get from Boss Rush, I believe that was. And I gotta get Spirit, which isn't too hard. I don't think I can craft any of these no i can't oh well yeah so the money is gonna be somewhat easy to get the uh, yellow warp is gonna be easy i think the hardest out of all of these are gonna be either red jewel or mystical crystal uh, i did one of these crossover city matches before this and i got to wave like 20 the six or something maybe i don't it was something 20 and uh, i died because they gave me blackbeard and buhan which if you don't know both of them stun and as both of them close in on your units they stun even more or more often which leads to an infinitely st uh, stunned team not that great so this time i'm bringing uh, uh what's his name archer if i can find him I'm bringing Archer because he has resist. I don't think that that's really gonna save me because it's still only three of him and uh, I don't think he's strong enough to take down. Well, I mean, I guess he has gotta be strong enough to take down one of them. Yeah, maybe it will be fine. Uh, his hidden power is actually decent. I don't really care about cost scale in this because I ended up with like over 100k cash. Uh, but attack is very good. It's max. RNG's or range scale is almost max. So that's going to be nice. Red jewel. No. Raid. Yeah, okay. Pillar cave. Okay, it's spirit warrior. So I shouldn't have much trouble. Oh, I hate them. I, I hate hidden enemies. They're so annoying. Yeah, okay. So I shouldn't have any... Tr any trouble with the red jewels the trouble is probably gonna be this mystical thing because three percent oh i can also get the grand tokens from it so yeah i'm only gonna do two stages crossover city and then pillar cave i think how many did i need i think i'm gonna do the uh, pillar cave first uh okay i need 20 grand tokens good lord and then five red jewels yeah i'm gonna do red jewel first then do mystical thing so and just grind that for like the entire day so i need spit warrior let's see so yeah spit warrior let's do insane and see how many i need to do to get five of these let's go okay so quickly this is something i have encountered pretty like a lot but when you buy the 250 sometimes it just freezes at the end and it's really annoying i've never lost to it but i could very well lose to it if i get unlucky but yeah it's a thing i really really dislike i hope it gets fixed but i don't know if it's if they even know about it take two so if i get lucky i'll be able to do just one more and if I get unlucky, I'm gonna have to do another one. Okay, well, two more. So, hopefully, only one more match. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, finally. That's all the jewels, and I think we got six in total. Okay, so, yeah, I got six out of five jewels so now it's just 
the Clement the Orbs, Demonic Heart, Ancient Orb, and Mystical Crystal, as well as the Grand Token. Uh, hopefully, I'll get these pretty quickly. Yeah, the Grand Token I'm a little worried about because I need so many. I might have to do a bunch of boss rushes, which I'm not too big of a fan of. I don't, I don't really like the boss rush stage, but oh well. Let's switch to the treasure hunter. There we go. Now we go to legend stage and crossover and crossover. Insane. Yeah. Hopefully we don't get another Blackbeard and Buhan combination again because that could be a run killer. All right. Two grand tokens the, fir the first run, that's pretty decent. Alright. Oh, oh, two mystic curls. Okay. Very nice. That means what? Five more, I think? Actually, I'm gonna check real quick. Okay, so I didn't realize that the quest here actually gives you a mystical thing. So that means I have three. And uh, next turn or next run i will have four guaranteed uh, but i need okay i need four more so perhaps two maybe three runs hopefully and then i'll be able to switch to boss rush four grand tokens because they have like 33 percent chance there so yeah i'm also working on the deal damage because i have uh, because he has the leader skill so that's something All right, one more, so that's five, I believe. I need two more. Almost there. All right, there we go. Now I have all the musical fragments or whatever they're called. And I have gotten a great deal of, uh, what's their, what their grand tokens. As well as I think I o I'm only missing some Calamity Orbs. Mm, yeah, I'm missing three Calamity Orbs and then seven Grand Tokens. So basically, once I've gotten the three Calamity Orbs, once I've gotten the Grand Tokens, the Orbs, the Gold and the Damage. Uh, when I've gotten that, I will uh, come back, will evolve him and then check him out. Uh, I I don't like doing showcases, so it's probably just gonna be a quick... Uh, Let's see his abilities, the animations, and then let's see him uh, at the max upgrade with his max race attack. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye bye for now. All right, so it's been a been a while since uh, well the last clip, and I have everything that I need to evolve uh, Gilgamesh. I have the damage, the duplicates, legendary shards, calamity orb, and all of it. Yeah. So yeah, let's um, let's evolve this guy. Hmm, he he looks really cool in his evolution, I think. Oh, he his skin does work on it, so that's also very cool. But he goes from a stun to race attack, which is interesting. Uh, and I've gotten the five hidden power stars, so I'm just gonna max him out, which I think is level 55. Yeah. So he starts out with 1200 DPS for 1880 cost. So I think at 100%, I think it's maybe like 2000. But he has 120% attack and minus 10% SP. So for treasure hunter that's pretty cool and his cosmetic is very cool i can't tell if that cape is meant to be be there or if it's a bug but either way i like it okay we're gonna see him alone with and without uh idol buff so uh endless let's do snow hill because it's bright 
and once again I'm gonna rem I'm not gonna do the attack buff on the cards that you get for infinite so I'm probably just gonna pick summons so we can see his base damage basically in the like uh, re-roll like uh, attack range and cost increase I think his attack and range are maxed out so that's that's pretty good he starts out as a line aoe which is better than a circle aoe so i'll take that and i'm gonna set up you and do that with buff he has 22k as as start with his own leader skill of course but yeah i'm gonna go get some money so i can max this guy out and uh, we'll see how much he has uh, on the max upgrade with and without his uh, max race attack as well i'll just place down someone like down here so they don't attack oh you can only have one uh, never mind then that oh that probably means he's pretty strong okay but i'll just like sell him and then place him somewhere else and then we can see without the uh, the race attack thing all right so he gets a new move high rank swords and it turns into a circle on upgrade i think four or about five five k which i think is maybe six k at the 100 percent cost or something like that i'm not a fan of it turning into a circle but oh well oh okay that's cool and then Enuma Elish, which turns into a cone on upgrade 7, or about 10k. He gets about 10k attack every, you know, attack, which is pretty cool. Hmm, attack animation is decent, in my opinion. I don't think it's, like, amazing, but it's decent. It hits through four times which is cool. That can be pretty good for hidden enemies. Ooh, Enuma Elish 2 turns into a full AOE on upgrade 10 for about maybe 14, 15k, I think. Oh, okay. Hmm, also decent attack animation, but full AOE with a lot of range and a lot of damage. This uh, reminds me of uh, Whitebeard, but better. 70.5k, god damn, okay. He has another move, Rupture Sword, which is still a full AoE. Okay, for 329k though, Jesus Christ, okay. Right, Rupture Sword. Oh, never mind, that's not a attack animation, that's just his ability, which I didn't know he had. Requirement 500 million total damage. What? Okay. Take total damage to all enemies and reset total damage. Oh, that's a very good nuke. Oh, okay. I don't know how easy it is to get 500 million damage, but damn. He can do a nuke of 500 million damage in a range of 130. I feel like that's, that's pretty good. Uh, he's still stacking his attack, so I'll come back when he maxes his uh, attack out. Alright, it looks like he's maxed with 3 million without uh, Oshi buff, or sorry, Anime Adventure Brain, without idle buff. So with that, he'll be around like 6 million something. Yeah, 6.1 million. So that's 850,000 DPS in 130 range. And uh, he has the nuke on top of all of that and this is without using these red uh, attack 12% uh yeah let's let's check out his uh, rupture sword uh, cutscene Good lord, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm... I don't really like that attack because it didn't... These guys survived. Which, uh, yeah, isn't really... Okay, well, god damn it. But anyways, yeah, this guy is very good. His uh, ability to me is uh, good. 
Uh, well, I think it's just to everyone it's pretty good. 500 millions to everyone. That's pretty sick. It's a good nuke, I would say. Very worth it. I'm very glad I got this guy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna head off now. I hope you enjoyed this video in one way, shape or form. If you did, nice. If you didn't, not nice. My bad, I'll try harder next time. But I do hope to see you in another video. And uh, the next video, I'm gonna try to go for a double whammy. Probably Gojo and the Shanks. But yeah, for now. Bye bye.